Porcupine Wilderness State Park. I decide if I want to buy a Michigan State Park Pass. I regretted not buying one. I think I will. I regretted not buying one in Minnesota. And I'm planning on spending the next few weeks in Michigan. In the Upper Peninsula. So I think I will. Even if I just drive through and look. Or have a picnic. Have lunch. gonna drive through the campground. Maybe they'll just let me check it out out of curiosity. I think I want to go back and get a passport. Yeah, I think I will. The very nice lady in the office said I don't need a park pass just to drive through. So it was very nice of her. Oh my god, it's packed. It's packed. It's right on the shores of the lake but it's packed, there's not a lot of space between sites, not a lot of privacy. Look at that site right there. That one's not bad. Look at, that's like the best site I've seen because there's nobody behind you. And it's right on the shores, it's beautiful. I don't know, I might be tempted to stay. Spots available. Nah, I don't want to stay. So the uh, it's packed. What's today? Wednesday, August fourth, or something like that. And it is really, really packed. Wow, kids are running around everywhere. It's right on the shore of the lake, and today's gonna be hot. But uh, wow, it's really crammed in here. Lots of big families. It's like a city. I mean, it's packed. I mean, not only is every campsite full, there's like 20 people. <laughs> and like the maximum number of cars in every campsite. I'm exaggerating slightly. Families, it's nice. I feel like I should buy a park pass though because there's a dump station and a garbage and a dumpster. So if I buy a park pass, I'll be able to go in. That's actually not a bad idea. If I buy a, a state park pass, I will be able to go in any state park and dump for free. Probably, I'm assuming. Fill up on water and dump my garbage. I think I will. I think that's actually, but I mean, 36 bucks or something for a park pass. I'll be here for, I'm, I'm assuming, that's what it was in Minnesota. And I'll be here for a month, I'm, I'm thinking. Might be a bad idea. And also just to support the state parks. I think I will on the way out. Michigan is a lot different than the other states I've been to. Minnesota, which is right next door, and the Dakotas. The trees are bigger. There's not as much, um, the, the vegetation on the ground is not as thick. So there's actually space in between the trees where you can see, especially right now, this time of day, you can see the light bouncing off the trees and creating shadows and it's just, it is beautiful. I'm, you know, everybody's been recommending the UP since I talked about coming this way and uh, it's not disappointing. So everybody who loves the UP, I can see why. I can see why. It's just, it is really pretty. So I'm taking a scenic drive. I hadn't planned on coming out this far. I thought I would just go out and check out the state park. But it said uh, Lake of the Clouds scenic area, seven miles. So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. I don't really have much going on today. It's kind of a sightseeing day. And uh, yeah, I like these sightseeing days. I stop when I feel like stopping, go swimming, worry about where I'm gonna sleep when it's time to worry about where I'm gonna sleep. You know, look at things along the way. If I find something along the way, it's like, okay, I'll just stay here. So these are these are my favorite days. Now that I have 
the energy. I really needed that four or five days. I'll have to look at the, I, it doesn't matter how long I was there. But now that I've had that time, after the meet and greet and all the traveling I've been doing, I was wiped out and really wiped out. So it was nice to stay in one spot for a few days and get kind of rested up and so I'm excited to be out on the road again. Caution, steep grade slow. These signs kind of crack me up in this part of the country. Steep grade. Well, steep is steep, right? It's a percentage of up or down. It's not how high, but still. Okay, it's steep. <laughs> and windy. Sadie's loud on the trails. She's pulling. Wow. Okay, so I'm back down at the visitor center. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pass. I'm gonna regret it if I don't. So I'm on my way out. Oh, look at this. They have a whole, oh, look at this. Porcupine Mountain Michigan State Park System was established to preserve the state's historic and cultural heritage. Oh, wow. Bears, coyotes. Oh, this is a nice visitor center. It's a wilderness center with all kinds of information about the area. Very cool. Okay, I got my annual park pass for Michigan State Parks, $34 for a non-resident. Sticker, supposed to go on your windshield. I'm not sure I'm gonna put it on my windshield. I might just put it in the dash when I need it. But uh, yeah, 34 bucks, easy peasy. This is a really, it's, so it's a state park wilderness area. You can do backcountry, backpacking. There are, what did I see? I mean, three to four or longer day hikes you can do. There is a Lake Superior Trail. You know, part of me wishes I had the energy to do it, but I don't. And it's humid, I can't, and it's buggy. I Honestly, I would love to go backpack for a few days along the, the lake. I just don't know if I have it in me, and with Sadie. And the humidity, I don't think I can do it. I'm a wuss <laughs> these days. And this little girl is not always very cooperative. You know, I might I might just have to wait until she's a little older. And this was the way it was with Capone too. I couldn't take him backpacking until he settled down a little. I think it's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. You need to settle down a little bit. Oh, you know that word, huh? You know that word, huh, Settle? You do? Anyway, I think I'm just gonna leave now that I got the pass. <laughs> I guess. It's the 
seems crazy that the some of the leaves are starting to change already. Seeing the very early signs, you know, where they're not as green, they're turning, you know, lighter green, like on their way to yellow. A little bit of red here and there. I'm excited about that. That means fewer bugs, cooler weather. It's the whole reason I came this way. <laughs> Suffer through the worst of summer to get to the best, which is the fall, my favorite season, especially this part of the country. When you actually get a real fall, real fall colors and the weather and the, oh, I love fall. If I could find a place that had fall all year round in this part of the country, I'd live there. <laughs> I know, I'm silly. So on the way to Ottenagen, Ottenagen, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong and it doesn't matter because I will never go here and make a video again. So it doesn't matter how I pronounce it because I will never say it again. By the time you see this video, I will never say the word Ottenagen again. Ever. And even if I do, I'm not going to remember how to pronounce it like the locals do. Want to do it again? You're doing great. You are doing so good. Check this out. She has already learned after a few throws to turn around when the waves come and ride the waves. Watch, this is amazing. You wanna get it? Go get it. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, there, here comes a wave. Watch, she'll turn around. Oh, nope. <laughs> Kinda. She's not afraid. She wants to keep going back. She's amazing. She's amazing. She's amazing. Look at, and she drags it into the water to clean it off so she can pick it up because she doesn't want to stick her, look at her. Look at her, because she doesn't want to stick her face in the, in the sand. Well, she did before. Come on, get it! Come on, get it! No, nope, see? See? Look. Oh my God, she's so smart. Oh my God, she's so smart. <laughs> you wanna do it again? I worry about her a little bit in those waves, but she's doing fine, and it's shallow. Huh, it's, oh, look at her. Look. <laughs> She, she, okay, go get it. She's amazing. I should have done this first before we tried to go for a walk on leash. I, I played with her. We played fetch this morning before we left camp. But, you know, just dog. Look at her. Where is it? Want me get it? Beautiful, Sandy. Would you want to get it? Look at that face. Look at that face. Uh oh, here comes a big wave. What's she gonna do? It's over here, Sadie. sand all over the dash. 
You got sand. You're, you're like full of sand. Look at you. <laughs> that was fun, huh? One treat? Okay. Wanna see what else we can find? Wanna see what else there is? Yeah, let's go. Those eyes. Wanna go? Deep Lake, and it's a view you won't believe. The Deep Lake Lodge and Steakhouse, located just west of tomorrow, Thursday, a 30% chance of showers after 2 p.m. Partly sunny with a high near. Noggin is a small village on the southern shore of Lake Superior. It's got a population of about 1,400 and is rich with mining history, miles of sandy beaches for swimming, a lot of agate hunting here. And you can take self-guided trails to old mining sites and the Union Mine Scenic Trail if you're into that. That old church right there is really cool. Look at that. Look at this big brick school. Reminds me of schools when I was a kid. Wow. So I followed a sign. I'm kind of sort of looking for a place to camp. I went down to a lake that was on free campsites and it was packed. It's a free, it's a free campground. So there's tons of forest here. I keep seeing roads that I fly by and I'm like, I should turn around and go. But anyway, I saw a sign that said for sale by the state of Michigan. I'm like, oh, Michigan's selling some land. Let's go see what it is. You wanna see what it is? Wanna see what it is? Any guesses? It's prison. <laughs> I'm tempted to stay here. But I don't know if it's patrolled. I can't imagine it is. I mean, there's like nothing out here. You wanna buy a prison? <laughs> I know. I know. Campgrounds? What? Hold up. There's a sign back here. No alcoholic beverages, drugs, weapons, or explosives are to be brought onto campgrounds. Oh, is it like a prison camp? Huh. I saw a sign on the other side that said something about warden, so that confirmed to me that this is a prison. Here's a tip. If you're thinking about stealth camping somewhere, or even boondocking, but you're unsure, especially stealth camping. I'm just like thinking, is this illegal? Would it be illegal for me to spend the night here? But especially stealth camping, uh, if you're not sure and it's early, it's only 3.30, I should just sit here and see who comes down here to see if it is patrolled, see if people come down. I'm not seeing like skid marks or a lot of garbage. There's a little bit of graffiti. Um, I'm kind of tempted to stay. My cell signal's really good. There's a nice breeze. 
I like all the open space. All right, I'm gonna go up, go into town. I was hoping to get a cup of coffee and I think I'm gonna come back. This will be a fun place to stay. Or an utter disaster. Okay, so I ended up stopping near Houghton, H-O-U-G-H-T-O-N. And if I didn't talk to a local, I would have called it Houghton, which actually would have made it easier for you guys to find it on a map. But anyway, it's H-O-U-G-H-T-O-N, Houghton. And I didn't stay at the prison. So there were too many roads around that I wanted to explore. So I decided to go ahead and uh, explore one of the roads uh, uh, along some power lines rather than stay at the prison. I don't know. I just, just energy and vibes at a prison. I was just like, yeah, I'm just not that into, into it. It would have been fun. Would have been a fun story, but, uh, I was like, yeah, you know, I, 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 sometimes I just need to not live for the story. <laughs> you know what I mean? And just go with my gut. So I'm, I'm in the forest, but I'm on a road it's not a very well used road, um, but it's, but it is a road. It's dark outer. I'd go out and show you. Um, so I'm not, I, I, it's hard to explain. There's a main road that goes down the power lines and then there's little turnoffs off of that. And the one I'm on, I mean, it barely looks like it's used. Actually, it goes in two directions. The other way looks like it might be used more than this one, but uh, I'm just going to be here super quick for the night. And then uh, just making some tea. I'm just going to be here for the night. So I'll probably be up early and out of here. The road, I'm not seeing tire tracks. It doesn't look like anything comes out here. But you know how many times I've said that? Every time I say, hey, nobody uses this road, I end up finding out that people do indeed use the road. But I'm just going to be here for the night. So didn't stay at the prison. I'm just like a couple miles down the road from the prison. So uh, yeah, that's where I am tonight. Just going to make some tea, make some dinner, and hit the hay. Start fresh tomorrow. You had a pretty exciting day, didn't you? Yes. Got lots of swimming, huh? Did you get to go swimming? Did you get to go swimming? What do you think? <laughs> oh, you're oh, you give oh, kisses? Oh, you're going to give me kisses? <laughs> you're going to give me kisses? You're going to give me kisses? I love you so much. I love you so much. Not again. My tires look low. Oh my god. Oh no. Hear that? No bueno. Michigan 26 South. Another uh, day's plans gone awry. <laughs> my valve stems. I've been having issues with my valve stems on my uh, other side just a few days ago. I should have had them check the other side, but anyway, I gotta go to the tire store. Just woke up, just had coffee. Noticed my tires are low. Really low. Luckily, I'm near a town. Life on the road. Never a dull moment. This is why I don't make plans. Have I said that before? Really, what difference does it make if I spend my morning wandering around an auto repair shop or the forest? <laughs> Sadie and I got we found a we found a tennis ball, so we got to play ball. Have my coffee sitting over there on a table. <laughs> There's enough space here. It's nice. There's enough. Like, yeah. Hold on. I'm a McDonald's drive-through right there. <laughs> so she's doing so well. Hey, Sadie. Good girl. All right, they had me in and out in an hour. Can't complain about that. And it wasn't the valve stem extension. It was the actual valve stem. It broke in half. It broke, like, it came out in two pieces. So they had to replace the valve stem on that tire. 
Um, I don't know why I'm having so many problems with valve stems. <laughs> Weird. But they checked everything and everything is good, so I should be good. All right, so I'm gonna leave Houghton, which is really, really cute on this river. And uh, on the other side of the bridge, it's called Hancock. So Hancock and Houghton are just separated by this river. And there's a state park over here. So I'm gonna go check out the state park, dump my tanks, and then figure out what I'm gonna do from there. I think just head up north. Fun bridge. I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's still kind of warm, so I wanna stay near the lake. Look at these buildings. These little narrow old timey towns, wow. Okay, so here's the state park. Let's see how it goes. you're an animal? I don't think you are. <laughs> but they probably would disagree. So, so, this is why we don't like state parks, but it's okay. There's plenty of places along the way. I saw like boat ramps and access areas, so we're gonna go back. I want to go for a swim, even just a little one. Um, and I really just came here to use the dump station, so. Michigan State Parks are crowded, packed all summer long. And that's what I'm seeing so far. There are some nice water sites. And there's, uh, what is it, it's Thursday, and there are some empty sites. They may be reserved, I don't know. It's, what is it, 10 or 11? 11, probably by now. But, uh, oh, yeah, some of these further back aren't so bad. They're in the trees. Oh, and they're a little more spread out. They're not bad. You know what? I better check my tires. I got the feeling that they didn't really hear me. I was trying to tell them that both of them, that the valve stems needed to be taken off and they left the valve stems on and look at this. Yep, I had a feeling. I cannot believe. I don't know, I just, I told them they needed to take the valve stems off and they were like, no, 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 we don't. I knew it, I knew it. My valve stem is still leaking. I decided I should have checked it before I left. Didn't think about it, just checked it, pull on it, and it's still leaking. So I gotta go back, like 10 miles. I mean, I wasn't gonna get out of town anyway. I, ha I was gonna go back anyway to go shopping and stuff, but The manager was super apologetic, said they should have known better. He was kind of disgusted, got me right in. So hopefully it won't be too long. I'll be back on the road. The road ahead, it twists and turns and the sun beats down and it burns. But I keep, keep on pushing through. And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I'll keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up And I may fall right back down But your love lifts me back to solid ground yeah, I get up
flag and call it quits So I keep, oh I keep on pushing through so this little town is Calumet. I saw the brick buildings from the highway and I couldn't resist pulling off. Look at this. So come to find out though, Calumet was not always called Calumet. It was originally called Red Jacket after a Native American chief of the Seneca tribe. And Red Jacket was known as a great orator who represented his nation negotiating with the United States after the Revolutionary War. Red Jacket's speech on religion for the white man and the red in 1805 has been preserved as an, as an example of his great oratorical style. Calumet was actually the name of a town nearby that is now called Lorium, and present-day Calumet was not legally named so until 1929. Huh. Gorgeous. I think they should name it back to Red Jacket. We're on our way to Copper Harbor. Sadie, don't you? And it's hard to not stop in every town. I am just, it's its feeling, I'm feeling nostalgic. It's feeling a lot like what I grew up with. Um, just the old brick buildings and the old towns. And this is Calumet. And uh, wow, just all the old brick buildings and church steeples. It's really cool. Yeah, just a break though. I went and got a cup of coffee, not a very good one. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get back on the road. It's late already for me. But yeah, pretty cool town. You can see this church steeples up there. I just dawned on me, especially driving through Calumet there, I kept thinking, gosh, this feels like Europe. The narrow streets, the big, wow, the big churches. I mean, can you see that house? The siding even, I don't know what they call it, the wood siding, just so much that. <laughs> I know, some of you, look at these. I mean, this is what I grew up with in parts of Pennsylvania and Vermont and New York. But anyway, what the heck? Where am I? Hold on. Where am I? Neighborhoods that just dead end into, I don't know, something. North Country cleaning and painting. So anyway, I'm thinking it reminds me so much of Europe. The narrow streets, the big brick buildings, the grandiose. There's a not not Victorian, not Edwardian, Gothic. Probably Gothic maybe a little bit. Um, and no wonder it reminds me of Europe, right? I mean, much of this was built in 17th and 18th, 1800s. Look at these. Look at this. This is like a neighborhood. I want one of these houses. Uh, you know, they were settled by Europeans, right? People who came to the New World from Europe and settled these towns. This was a mining town. And uh, so it makes sense that they modeled, they built a lot of stuff. And a lot of the architects probably came from Europe. So no wonder it reminds me of Europe. Oh my gosh, look. From that, that picture that I saw, I'm pretty sure it was a company, company town. Okay, now. I don't know which way I'm going. I'll have, I'll have to look it up. I'm kind of assuming company town just based on the uh, information on that plaque at the park and mining and just the, the row houses that I'm seeing. I would say company town. I'll look it up later. Uh, oh my gosh, this part of the country. So much history. You know, there's history everywhere. I mean, California has history. Just recorded white people history. Uh, 
is is more recent, right? It doesn't go back as far. We don't have geez, that dude <laughs> carrying porta potties just took a turn really fast, and I wanted to get out of his way in case they fell over. Uh, yeah, yeah. Feeling really nostalgic. I knew I would. It's interesting. I have some thoughts on that, but I'm gonna drive for now. Public auction. Oh, there's a house for auction. <laughs> Every time I get to editing these videos, I'm like, I gotta stop shooting so much while I'm driving through towns. It's boring. It's boring video. But I just want to capture everything that I see. I mean, these old towns, like I said, a lot of you probably, depending on where you live in the country, you're used to it after living in uh, a newer part of the country. Newer, you know what I mean. White settler new. Uh, this is all just foreign to me. Like a foreign country. A cool one. Very cool. All right. That was a fun little detour. I'm glad I went. Wood shingle siding, that's what it's called. Wood shingle, yeah, siding. That's what the house I spent my high school years in was wood shingle siding with white paint that hadn't been painted in like a hundred years and so it was ugly. I feel like I'm gonna pop into one of these old markets and find penny candy, like real penny candy. Who remembers real penny candy? The little bags they gave you, the little brown paper bags, the bitty ones, and you just go in and fill them up. Yeah. I swear, it's like time has stood still here. I get it. All right, I'm getting tired, so I think I'm just gonna head to the camping spot that I scoped out on freecampsites.net. It's uh, on the opposite end of, uh, oh wow, that's something you don't see every day. Hello there, monastery. This must be a monastery or something. Um, so it's on the other end of Cop Copper Harbor, and so we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully it'll be a spot that I can stay for a couple of nights. This is really, really pretty. But I don't have a good, I have no cell signal. That's not gonna work for long term, but it'll work for tonight. Huh, Sadie girl? All right, hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. We're gonna go, go inside, relax. Thank you, there's more Michigan Upper Peninsula to come. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. You never want to miss a thing. And don't forget to share my videos and tell everybody you know about them. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I'll see you soon.